हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अ चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर सेवन ऑफ क्लास टेन साइंस दैट इज कंट्रोल एंड कोऑर्डिनेशन सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स हे क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सेज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ प्लांट हॉर्मोन आंसर इज डी दैट इज साइटोकिन For the question number two says the gap between two neurons is called. Answer is B. That is synapse. Now question number three says the brain is responsible for. Answer is D. That is all of the above. For the question number four says what is the function of receptors in our body? Think of the situations where receptors do not work properly. what problems are likely to arise answer is receptors are specialized cell located in our sense organ like ear nose skin tongue and eyes the function of receptor is to detect information from the environment for example olfactory receptor detect smell if receptor do not work properly the information obtained from the environment will be delayed to reach the spinal cord or brain in this situation the response to the environmental stimulus will delayed causing harm to the body for example if skin receptors are damaged and accidentally touches a hot object then his or her hands might be burned as the damaged receptor cannot perceive the external stimuli of heat and pain now question number 5 says draw the structure of a neuron and explain its function answer is nerve cells or neurons are the functional unit of nervous system a nerve cell has three parts first cell body second dendrite further its functions are the function of nerve cell is to carry information in the form of electrical signal which are called nerve impulses cells receive stimulus to send it to the spinal cord and brain and carry the message from the brain to the target organ for the question number 6 says how does phototropism occur in plants answer is the movement in any part of a plant due to light is called phototropism the shoot of the plant shows positive phototropism and roots shows negative phototropism phototropism in plants occur due to the hormone oxygen when light falls on one side of a plant the secretion of oxygen hormone is more in the part away from the light hence oxygen causes growth in plant of a cells in the shady part so the plant appears to blend towards light for the question number 6 says which signals will get disturbed in case of a spinal cord injury answer is first all the involuntary actions will get disturbed second reflex actions will be disturbed because reflex are located in the spinal cord therefore the quick response required to safeguard the body will not take place further question number 8 says how does chemical coordination occur in plants answer is chemical coordination in plants take place with the help of plant hormones in most of the regions where division take place stimuli cells secrete chemical compound these substances identify the information by stimulating the other nearby cells and communicating the information for the question number 9 says what is the need for the system of control and coordination in an organism answer is first to save the body of an organism from the harmful changes in the environment second to control the speed of voluntary and involuntary actions third to have the capability to think and learn for responding to any stimuli now question number 10 says how are involuntary action and reflex actions different from each other answer is first 
Let's talk about involuntary action. First point says those actions which occur immediately without any thinking are called involuntary action. Second point is involuntary actions are controlled by the mind and hint brain. Third point example is breathing, beating of heart, etc. Now let's talk about reflex action. First point is Reflex action is an immediate response to an event which do not require any processing by the brain. Second, reflex actions are controlled by the spinal cord. And the third, last point that is examples are sneezing, coughing, etc. For the question number 11 says, compare and contrast nervous and hormonal mechanisms for control and coordination in animals. Answer is, first, let's talk about nervous mechanism. So, first point is, it is a fast process. Second, arteries and glands are affected. Third, it transmits in electrochemical form. Fourth, it does not control metabolism. And the fifth point is, growth is not affected. Now, let's talk about hormonal mechanism. Here, first point is, it is a slow process. Second, it affects the target organ. Third, it transmits in chemical form. Fourth, it controls metabolism. And the last fifth point is growth is affected. For the question number 12 says, what is the difference between the manner in which movement take place in a sensitive plant and a movement in our leg? Answer is, first, Let's talk about movement in a sensitive plant. First point is, the leaves of a sensitive plant like mimosa are sensitive to touch. Second, it is not controlled by any other part of a plant. Third, in this, cells change their shape by changing the amount of water in them. Fourth, the movement in a sensitive plant is the nastic movement. Now, Let's talk about movement in legs of a human. Here first point is, leg is in control of nerve muscles. Second, it is controlled by the brain and spinal cord. Third, amount of water has no effect on the movement of muscles. And the fourth point is, the movement in our leg is due to the voluntary nervous system. So this is all from this exercise guys. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Sim Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health.